Do you remember when a combi and red felt schooner were like super cool? Well, the minibus or MPV has changed a lot since then, and uh, thankfully so too has our dress sense. But is it still cool today to own a bus? Well, Ford certainly seems to think so, bringing Europe's most popular van to our shores finally. But my concern is, are you, the super image conscious South African consumer, going to want to be seen in one? Or is all the practical benefits going to be lost in transit? With the opening of the British motorway system in the 1960s, the need arose for a van that could transport goods at relatively high speeds. And so the Transit was born, its load-carrying ability and car-like agility making it a favourite of delivery drivers and bank robbers alike. So Ford have really been very clever in how they've packaged this product. The long and short of it is, well, let's start with that. You have the option of long wheelbase or short wheelbase. Short wheelbase comes in at just under five meters. The long wheelbase pushing it to just over 5.4 meters. What that means from a practical point of view, from a load perspective, you can load three meter lengths in the short wheelbase and 3.4 meter lengths in the long wheelbase, but they all come with one standard roof size. You're looking at a 1.4 meter workable space from floor to roof. There is only one engine to choose from, and it's an engine that we've loved in the massively popular Ford Ranger. It's their 2.2 litre turbo diesel Euro 5 emission based engine. But what they've done is they've given you three performance options to choose from, starting with a 64 kilowatt, 310 newton meter engine. They've then got the middle range, which is the 92 kilowatt, 350 newton meter engine. And there you look at that torque curve kicking in at 1,500 revs per minute. And then the top spec, which is only available in the Transit Sport, gives you 114 kilowatts and 385 newton meters. But regardless of the performance output that you choose, only comes with a six speed manual box. Whether they're gonna bring an auto out, we wait to see. But I think especially if you are in the transit where you're moving people around, an auto box would have been a very popular option. You then need to choose the application that best suits you. Are you a goods person or are you a people's person? Are you commercial or are you minibus? Tornia being what we're driving right now, the eight seater people mover, and obviously the transit being the van that's gonna be doing the work and moving your goods around. So now that we've got all those facts and figures out the way, the important thing is how does it drive? And I'll tell you, I've always said that for me, the interior layout of Ford's a little bit busy. You know, a lot of buttons, a lot of instrumentation that gets in your way. Somehow it seems to work really well when you're driving an MPV though, because for me it kind of gives it a car-like feel. I even look at the steering wheel, it's not a big chunky wheel that gives you the feeling that you're wading a bus through deep water. In actual fact, it's very, very car-like and funky. From a drive perspective, things that I love, this little adjustable elbow setting. Get it into the right position and it's a short throw to the gearbox, which is perfectly positioned. Even the driver's seats have got adjusts. I can lower, I can move forward. The steering has got rack and reach. So they've really made it a very comfortable environment to be in. Little things I love, cell phone. I use navigation on my phone. There, it's got a little pouch where it sits. They've got spots for big water bottles. They've got the entertainment system that comes with USB, Bluetooth, auxiliary jacks. They fit them all in this pouch right above the steering wheel with a little trough so things don't slide away. They really have thought about everything. Another thing that a lot of you might find unique is that obviously it has doors on both sides. What works really well is there are so many options and variables with the seating. They reckon up to 30 varieties. We haven't tested them all. What it's important for me is, can I get in and out quickly and effectively? Yes, I certainly can. The Transit is the first van to ever be given a Euro 5-star NCAP rating. That's how important safety is. And it is standard, whether you're in the Tornio, in the Transit, Ambiente, Trend, or the Sport version. Safety comes standard. ABS, EBD, EBA, airbags. It's, it's really a well-specced out safe vehicle. But the drive for me is really special. This little 2.2 liter diesel engine really comes into power at the right level. And I haven't found it lacking up here on the reef. And the best thing for me is the turning circle. Often you think these vehicles are gonna be cumbersome. This thing turns on a ticky. Incredible. With your park distance sensors on and big mirrors, it really is a very easy car to reverse, to maneuver around and get in and out of spaces. 
So the Transit has been UK's top van for 47 years and they just recently voted the 2013 International Van of the Year. So it begs the question, why does Ford always seem to miss the local opportunity? They did the same thing with Cougar, but luckily with Ford's Global One policy now, we have the Transit and the Tornio on showroom floors. I think it is gonna be a big seller for Ford and in my opinion, it's uh, fantastic.